Hello, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office teardown lab. You'll see in front of you a VR box unit, and that's because I've previously reviewed these. And in these units, you pop your mobile phone in and slide it in, and you can use it as a Google Cardboard. So I thought we'll just have a look at some of the main components of this because it's hard to see them in normal videos. So we can actually really zoom in. So that's the mechanism that holds your phone in. And just to show you, see these foam pads and why they exist. And I'm going to have to take my phone out of its own case. Incidentally, I strongly recommend these tough cases, these two part tough cases, because I've dropped this phone so many times <laughs> and it survived. Right. You can see on the top here, you've got your two buttons. See right there, and there's lots of buttons. So these kits come with these foamy pads, and the idea of the foamy pads is to allow you to put this inside the enclosure without scrunching all your buttons. Because you can see the buttons here, very tight fit on the Nexus 6. So you have to be really quite careful how you insert this, because you want to make sure it's sitting on those foam pads so those buttons don't get pressed. But that's not really what I want to show you at the moment though, because that's not so important. So that's that bit. On the unit itself, here's a nice detail that you don't often see. This is how the actual sliders work. So you can see each eye can move in and out and side to side. So that really fits your head. And remember, most people's heads aren't actually totally symmetrical. So depending on your shape, you can get this just right. And you know, you might be a bit short sighted or long sighted in one eye, you can just tweak that slightly. And that's what makes this unit so nice in that respect. I really like that. This is a panel on the, so you, oh, just to show you, these vents on the sides are actually to allow you to put your USB wires in. And you're going to say, how do I attach those? Well, the panel comes off. And this panel comes off to actually allow the camera in your phone. I'm going to try to, there we go. So if your phone is sat in there, you can see the actual camera itself. So this is for some augmented reality use that you might have an app for. I don't. And if you actually dismantle it further, look, you can take that panel off altogether. That's not going to help you because that panel actually does hold this tray in place. So you can't run it completely denuded of that panel. But it does offer you the ability to, one, see how all this goes together, which is quite nice. You can see the sliders yeah, right there. See these sliders? See how the lens is? And you can make little tweaks and adjustments to it. Something I was thinking of doing recently, um, in fact, and I think I will. Um, some Google applications require you to touch the screen. They still, in the Google Cardboard, I think they've got a cutaway in the nose for you to use your finger to touch the screen. And I do use this with a joystick, a little joypad unit, and sometimes I don't have that joypad on me and it's a little bit tedious. So what I wanted to do was actually do an experiment and I'm going to mod this. I want to mod it so that if I've got this on my head, which is this way, yeah, I can put my finger in a little bitty hole and just tap the screen. I'm just looking at this now to see where best to do it. And I think just a little hole on the bottom. And if it doesn't work out, that's no problem because I can just fill the hole. Yeah, I can just put a sticker over it. You can't really even see it. It's under there out of the way. However, if I do need that hole to, to select something, it's there. So I'm, I'm going to try that, I think. I reckon I could get my finger in, uh, how do I want to do it? Probably at this angle, yeah? So a hole around about here would be just dandy. Does that make sense internally? Yeah, that will be about here. So yeah, I think we can do that. And if you're going to do this, you will need a power drill, which is great. You'll probably have one of those. And if you don't have one, maybe someone you know, maybe a dad. And then you'll need a kit like this. And this is a stepped drill bit. You don't have to have them stepped. You can have the ones which aren't stepped, but you need this anyway, because you want to go up to a nice big size. And where's your finger? You can see where your finger is on this gauge and you'll need this big boy, all right? This big fat one, right? Away. And this is a four to 30 mil. So oh, be careful. There you go. One of the biggest you can get. And we just got to make sure when we pile in through this, it's not going to damage anything. It, I'm not going to hit anything. I've already checked that. So 
it, it actually makes its own pilot hole, which is nice. I think I'm going to go, hmm, if you consider the screen's going to be here and you want to touch that, you don't want to go too far in board. You want to keep it quite near this edge, but you don't want to hit any of these features. So I've got the, the point where I marked, but I'm going to go a little bit further in. I'm just going to maybe try it here. So you can see it. You might hear that it's going chunk, 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 chunk. That's every time it's hitting a new stop on this edge here. We're not quite, uh, uh, uh. we're not quite there yet. Let's keep going. Whoa, okay, so now we've got a really nice hole. Oh, that's perfect, look. And it's lovely and smooth. It's actually trimmed that <laughs> edge nicely. It's not, it's not sharp and awkward. Right, that's all the detritus out of the way. I am very happy with that. Next thing to try is actually to put the phone in to the case and see if I can actually touch the glass of the screen. In fact, I know I can, but it's nice to do. it's nice to try things, isn't it? So I'm going to place the phone in the caddy and this is rather awkward. You'll see it's awkward because it's just such a huge phone. The actual Nexus, the new Nexus 6 is a little bit smaller. But there you go, that's worked. Just to show you the detail of that. So you can see the on button and the volume and you can see these rubber pads and the on button's just about not touching. So what I'm going to do while it's in my hand, before I put it into the case, I'm going to go into the cardboard application. And while that's loading, let's reassemble this piece of panel here. That's nice. And we'll put the camera cover over again. We don't need that right now. There we go. And we're going to go to the 360 viewer. And that's loading away, but I'm going to just slot that in. Oops. I go to the wrong thing. Let's try. Cardboard. Let's just go to the demos. There we go. You're used to seeing that one. I'm going to pop that in the screen. Oh my gosh, that works so well. Look, you can see my finger in there. Every time I push it. That is so awesome. I can't believe that little tiny mod. It's perfect. I, and you can't see it. You can't see the hole. You can't see any light bleeding in. You can see the screen in there, yeah? Just, just do that yourself. Get your v VR box and make that hole <laughs> and it's done. Perfect. If you're the manufacturers of VR box, please make that hole. That absolutely works wonders. That's made that way more useful. Now I can just carry that around with me without any other junk. I'm incredibly happy with that. So I hope that's of some use to you. This sort of a VR box teardown and a lovely mod. If you do want to just, you can see the USB hole in there, but look, it's just plastic, right? Get your drill bit out, make whatever hole you need to make wherever you want. If you want to put your headphone wires in and route it nicely through here, you can. Um, there's lots of room in this plastic for routing wires, so you could have an integrated headphones if you want to. Brilliant. Please feel free to comment down below and let me know how you get on with your VR box screen hole. And uh, please click subscribe and I will then update you whenever I make a new video. As ever, thanks for watching.